think is somebody who when you first meet him, you meet a very kind and gentle man. She lives with such a joy and a, a radiance in everything she does and with everyone she meets that you can truly tell that she's doing what she's been called to do and she has a, a strong relationship with the Lord. And then you get to know him a little bit more and all of that stays, but you gain this extra little bit of flavor that you don't see when you first meet him. Her facial expressions show it and the beauty in her eyes and the, the way she talks and cares for others that um, she, she very much demonstrates the beauty of God and through her I've experienced God's love more profoundly than I ever have. When I first started to spend time with him I felt like he was so kind that I like couldn't make a joke around him or couldn't uh, have any sort of sarcastic comments but then once he let one fly my way it was like Oh, thank goodness. So many things to love about Steph, but I think the best way to explain it is to talk from when I first got to know her. I think we were classmates together in medical school and may have had a few conversations here and there, but I think most of it I was just admiring her from afar. Um, that's why she doesn't remember me. And there was just this chemistry between us where um, you didn't lose any of the things that first drew me to him. You just gained this um, fun, loving side that doesn't come out right away. But just her beauty and the way that she loves everyone she comes in contact with, that she has a radiance and a joy and a, a beauty that captures everyone. Well, we met in medical school, uh, but I believe we met early in medical school and we had several in-depth conversations. Everyone always talks about you fall in love with your best friend and um, I think I fell in love with you before you were my best friend but now I'm so happy to have the combo and then I think about us being teammates as parents and it's amazing to think that someday when we are entrusted with a, a baby you will be there for every second of it. I wouldn't I couldn't imagine it being any other way. I had an idea very early on when I got to know her and just the way that I came alive when I was around her, I began to feel more myself. Growing up I was always pretty quiet and reserved, but around he her I always felt comfortable, I felt, I felt myself come alive, I felt more joy than I had ever felt before. He is a lot more than the just kind guy, you know, that sometimes it's easy to think people are just nice or they're too nice or they don't have much beyond their um, like gentle heart, but uh, I love when you have the, the whole package and that's exactly what Ryan has. It was always very clear to me that, that she was the one and then that became more clear as we got to know each other and become more comfortable and share in more memories together that she was the one that I wanted to spend every moment with, every every day, every experience, I wanted her by my side. I remember distinctly, I hadn't told any of my friends that we were spending time together yet because we didn't want things to get weird in our friend group. So um, yeah, it was kind of a little bit under wraps. One of the real gifts of our relationship is that we have so many wonderful friends that we share in it with. Um, when we were starting to get to know each other, we developed a really strong friendship with our friends Alex and Michelle, who live in our building, um, and, and our med school classmates with us. And so we'll get together often for movie nights and for board games and have so much fun with them that, you know, they've been with us as we, you know, got to know each other and now they're going to be here to celebrate our wedding with us and, you know, it's been wonderful to grow close to each other, but even more wonderful that there are so many beautiful people in our lives to share that with. Yeah, during um, the first few months of COVID when we were off of work, we spent time in Pennsylvania with my family and we got quite a rivalry going with my parents playing <laughs> um, a board game called Sequence where you're on teams and it would be my mom and dad versus Ryan and I. And I think we played every night for a stretch of weeks um, or most nights and it was 
one of those things that I could see the reflection of us and my parents and vice versa, which is um, lovely to see like where we're heading. But um, yeah, they've been good board game partners as well. We've been brought together so that we can journey back towards the Lord and you've called me to, towards a greater life of virtue and I hope maybe I've done a little bit of the same and I'm excited to go through our lives and journey together back to Him where we'll spend eternity, God willing, in heaven uh, loving and serving Him. So there's so many things to love about Steph that it's really hard to put them all together but I think when I was starting to get to know her in med school um, we didn't really become close until the second year but in the first year um, I really admired her beauty and the way that she loved everyone she came in contact with. It's so funny to think about our first dates when I talked 80% of the time and you <laughs> chimed in with just like a nod or a uh-huh um, and now we're at this point where our conversation is so free-flowing and we talk about everything and anything so I just see that growing in such a way that we continue to um, grow in friendship. I think we are very blessed as a couple to have a lot of things that we are on the same page with that we don't have a ton of discussion to really land in the same place on um, but of course like every couple, we have moments where it takes a little bit of effort to get to that point. While there may be challenging times and difficult things we're going through personally or things we disagree on, uh, at the end of the day, we always see the other person's perspective. And I think her, her patience and humility and holiness makes any disagreement or uh, challenging time so much better. And at the end of it, we're laughing and having a good time and, and loving each other well. But I think what I'm thankful for in our relationship is that we never let those things go unsettled and we never um, sort of put them aside and not communicate about them. So I think if I had it my way, we would. And uh, I would keep waiting until I felt really good about it to talk about it but um, one thing that Ryan is super good at is making sure that we do address things before they get too big for them to be easily settled. It was about a year ago at this point last September and you had this whole thing planned with my family and your parents and you faked me out because the night before we had this really romantic date planned and I thought it was coming then and it didn't. So we came home from the date and we were staying at my parents' house and both my parents were in on it with you and they were joking how disappointed I looked that I didn't have a ring yet. And then the next morning you suggested that we go to mass at my favorite church and um, on our drive there, um, we got stuck in a ton of traffic and actually didn't make it for mass. But it worked out better because we snuck in the back of the church and you took me up to the side altar and proposed to me there. And our whole families were behind us. And that church of St. Paul is where we're getting married. I think my message for Ryan would be one of gratitude um, for all the things he's done for me thus far. I think when I look back on my life before him, I don't think I realized how much was missing. And now when I think about it, I think of this emptiness that is now full. And I'm so thankful that he has stepped up to fill that in ways I didn't know I needed at the time. Um, so I think I just have this message of gratitude and thankfulness and one of great excitement for what is to come because I think there's one thing that every married couple has said to us is that the best is yet to come and that marriage is just the start of a lifelong journey and I think if 
Things have been thus great so far. I'm very excited to see what else is in store.